What up, Fight World? It's your boy, Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, Showtime has dropped the bomb on the boxing world just today, and I want to talk about that in this video. Now, before I even get into it, I want to start off by saying thank you, Al Heyman. Thank you, Steven Espinoza, Showtime Sports, and Showtime as a network, as a staff, as a record label, and as a m crew. This is what I'm talking about when it comes to boxing. Now, real quick, a lot of people are so concerned with, oh, I want to side with the person of my race. I want to side with the promoter that I like. I want to side with this guy because he's my favorite. And they don't care about boxing. They care about tribalism. Me, you guys could say whatever you want. Oh, you just, you love Heyman. You just love Showtime, right? But I call it down the middle. I did a video last year when Showtime barely had any fights, any big, big fights. They had like Wilder versus Eric Molina, and, and I felt HBO had been putting out a better lineup. I gave HBO its props and made that video and said, Showtime needs to step it up. The video's on the channel still. I don't have to change anything. I don't have to duck or dodge anything. So go watch that old video. But now is the time for me to give Showtime its due credit and give you guys the breakdown of what has happened. So you go to Steven Espinoza, who's the executive at Showtime, and he posted this, and it's a it's an intense graphic with all these fights. You're like, what? What is this? What's going on? So you head over to their website, and this says, Showtime Sports Spring 2016 Boxing Lineup. And as you can see, you'll see a bunch of familiar faces, Lucian Butte, Badu, Jack, James DeGale, Gary Russell, Abner Mades, Lee Selby, Ruslan, Provotnikov, you have Wilder, Keith Thurman, Anthony Joshua, Porter, Ovetkin. So if you read down below, it gives a breakdown of their lineup. And I'm, I'm digging it, man. So let me go through the fight. Saturday, April 9th. You have a main event heavyweight fight. It's a title fight. Charles Martin, newly crowned IBF champion versus Anthony Joshua. The co-feature is Lee Selby versus Eric Hunter. And I did an article or wrote this article last night. That's also a title fight. Eric Hunter's from Philly. He has a good style. And Lee Selby's a champion who beat Evgeny Gradovich. So that's happening in London, UK, O2 Arena. April 15th, same month. You have Nikolay Popatvev and Stephen Young. I don't really know them, but you go deeper in April 16th, Gary Russell Jr. versus Patrick Highland, and I have to do some research about Highland, but I heard he's pretty good. This was a fight that was already supposed to take place, and then Gary Russell got injured, so that's more of a reschedule, and that's a title defense because he beat Johnny Gonzalez, and he's a WBC champion, so... That'll be a featherweight fight, Gary Russell Jr. Also, the other fight, Lee Selby versus Eric Hunter. So maybe the winners of both of these fights can face each other. Same month, April 30th, Badu Jack versus Lucian Butte. Now, some people might gripe and complain like, oh, Lucian Butte, he lost to James DeGale. That's ridiculous. Oh, my gosh. But his original opponent, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr., is the one that injured his heel, and he is supposed to initially be the opponent so you can't blame but jack i wouldn't stall my career either because he got injured you know what i'm saying so he has to continue fighting he was more than willing and ready to fight chavez jr but chavez jr had to pull out so we don't know when chavez is going to get his his stuff together and i made a video about that so make sure you check that out and then the co-feature you have another super middle and another champion in james DeGale versus porky medina who pulled off an upset, uh, upset and, and i believe stopped jay leon love Right, Deontay Wilder versus Povetkin, which is supposed to take place in Russia. I told you guys I did a video. The Russian promoter won the purse bid, and they're trying to make this in May. They don't have all the details, but it looks like it's a fight. Wilder said he's not giving up his title, no matter where the fight happens. Then, this is a newly added one. Saturday, June 11th. Main event is Ruslan Provotnikov versus John Molina Jr., which is an interesting and exciting style. And this is also marking... The Showtime debut that I remember of Ruslan Provotnikov, or at least since he's gained fame for giving Tim Bradley a run for his money and fighting Matisse and stuff like that. So they're welcoming me, Ruslan Provotnikov and John Molina to that. So interesting fight at 140. And there's a lot of just in general casuals who don't 
they don't want to pick apart the sweet science. So this is the fight for you. This is not going to be a sweet science fight. And we've seen John Molina. He did. They both have a mutual opponent in Lucas Matisse. He really gave Matisse some work. He knocked him down twice. You know what I'm saying? So that'll be a very exciting and interesting fight. Other thing. A lot of people complain that Ruslan was possibly linked to fight Terrence Crawford. And they're like, oh, this is retarded. This is bullshit. Why should Terrence Crawford fight Ruslan? He's on a higher skill level. Yada, yada, yada. Now you don't have to worry about it because Ruslan Provotnikov is fighting John Molina, who is definitely within the same echelon of style and skill or whatever you want to call it. So you don't have to worry about Crawford fighting Ruslan anymore. And the other person that Ruslan was kind of linked to was possibly facing Miguel Cotto. And I told you guys in the James Kirkland Cotto video, which looks like that will probably be going down. I would rather see Cotto fight. I mean, Ruslan and James Kirkland have similar styles, if you think about it, in terms of they both lack defense. They both have exciting styles. They both have power. So if Cotto's going to fight somebody with that style, I would rather have it be the person who's campaigned at 154 than the person who has been fighting at 140 and moved up to 47 and then moved back down to 140. You know what I'm saying? So at least Cotto would be fighting someone the same size. So I don't see why people would even complain about this particular fight, and that's happening in New York. Then you have the rescheduled fight that we all want to see. Saturday, June 25th, Keith Thurman versus Sean Porter. Now what they did, we already know about that. That's a good fight. Porter's doing an exhibition fight in Vegas this Saturday, I believe. And it was competing with the Zab Judah card, but that card got canceled. So if you're in Las Vegas, you should probably try to uh, go over to the exhibition fight, Sean Porter. Now, this is what they added. They added Jesus Cuellar, who's a champion, versus Abner Mades. That's a fight I've been calling for. And I didn't think it would happen because I thought that Cuellar was with Robert Garcia. But he's no longer training with Robert Garcia. Abner Mades moved over to Robert Garcia. Now this fight can happen. That's a good scrap. And it's better than, um, I think it was supposed to be Abner Mates versus Fernando Montiel or something. And Montiel just lost to Lee Selby. So, it, I mean, you can't complain about that. You got two Mexican, Mexican-American warriors. Jesus Cuellar is a champion. He's been winning his fights. He has an exciting style. Abner Mates, um, what does he have, like two losses maybe? Johnny Gonzalez and then... Leo Santa Cruz, but the Santa Cruz was a, was a war, so I don't see this fight being any different um, because Cuellar doesn't have the size that Leo Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz is pretty tall with a good reach. Then it says late summer, Leo Santa Cruz versus Carl Frampton. I mean, what, what can you say about that? Leo Santa Cruz versus Carl Frampton? Yes, the only complaint I have about this fight is the mere fact that we all know both of these guys ducked Guillermo Rigado, but it is what it is. This is a good fight. Aside from the duckage of Riga now, this is a good fight with two guys who are exciting styles. A lot of people don't know this, but Carl Frampton broke Scott Quigg's jaw, I believe, in the fourth round of their scrap. Leo Santa Cruz, like I said earlier, he had a war with Abner Mates. Kiko Martinez, it was an expected win, but, I mean, he did his thing. I didn't know if he would stop him, but it looks like he's acclimating to featherweight and he was able to knock him down a gang of times and stop him. Nothing else could be said, man. This is a good schedule. And for all the people who want to be tribal, you guys tell me what fights that HBO has that they've announced that are official that that compete with this. I heard Vasil Lomachenko versus Nicholas Walters. Excellent fight. But I haven't heard any official announcements. And other than that, I haven't really heard. I don't know who Terrence Crawford's fighting next. You got Pacquiao Bradley, three. That's happening on pay-per-view, so it's not part of the regular HBO schedule. And this is all on Showtime. And some of it, like Keith Thurman Porter, is on free TV, CBS. Great stuff from Showtime. I'm very excited. Awesome spring, summer lineup, or whatever you want to call it. Drop it in the comment section. I like the additions that they did, and it's good to see Porter Thurman back. Make sure you like my video, share this video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. As always, hate, comment, and subscribe. Till next video, is Ego, signing off.